Hello our fellow antique lovers. Welcome to our channel Rewind. In this video we are going to look into the HES alarm clocks. Have you ever looked inside of alarm clock which decorates your study table? While clocks normally are fairly complicated, they do not have to be confusing or mysterious. Let's look at this model of HES Stella. This has a stainless steel body with a gold and a black dial. The HES clocks are originally manufactured in India. And this particular model is manufactured around 1985. This is a typical alarm clock with a round dial. This model has a seconds hand at the bottom of the model name and the alarm time hand at the top. As most of all the clocks, in the back side we have the four keys, one for the adjustment of the time, the other for setting the alarm time, the one for winding the alarm spring, and the, the last for winding the clock. At the bottom we the second speed adjuster. And finally the alarm off switch at the top. Now let's set the alarm and see how it works. Well there's the alarm. Now that we know the how the clock looks, the details and the manufacturer's informations, let's get inside and let's find out how the clock works and what are all the parts this clock has inside of it. Let me point you the most important parts which helps in the functioning of the clock. The first is the alarm timer wheel, the next is the hour wheel, and the needle post which rests as a mount for the hour and the minutes hand. This is the seconds hand that is at the bottom of the dial. Well these are the parts that are at the front, let's check the back. The back is a set of wheels mounted between the base frame. There are a few set of wheels that helps the clock in it functioning which are basically called as gear train. The system of wheels and pinions which, from the barrel B, transmits the driving power to the escape wheel, Z1 center wheel, Z3 third wheel, Z5 fourth wheel, escape wheel. All these wheels are riveted to their respective pinions. This part is called the pallet. This will be the lever and part of the lever escapement, shaped like a ship's anchor. One thing to keep in mind is that the pallet will not swing forever. Therefore, one additional job of the escapement gear is to impart just enough energy into the pallet to overcome friction and allow it to keep swinging. The last will be flat coiled spring is called the mainspring, that powers all mechanical watches. And the final part is called the crowns, which are the keys, to wind up and set the watch to time. Now that we have come to an understanding how the clock works. Let's look at the parts that work when the alarm is ringing. The most important parts are the hammer and the alarm stopper lever. Let's set the alarm and let's look at the working. This is the alarm stopper lever, which stops the hammer from ringing. These are the model details and the parts that help us understand how an alarm clock works. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Let us know your feedbacks and which clocks to review in the comments. Thanks for watching.